If you wish to upsell product add-ons on the product page, for example, like accessories, uh, you will select a single product page or all the product page within a collection. I'll select a single product page for the matter of this test. And I will upsell on the cool brown beanie. I could tick the box to display based on cart rules, which is defined here. Right now, I'm defined to always display, but I could only display these accessories, these product add-ons, if the cart contains or doesn't contain, or if the cart amount is higher or bigger than. Uh, I'll skip this, and I click on the Setup button. So here you'll see a toolbar at the bottom uh, loading like this. So I can show you how it looks. So the display type inside the notification will look like this. You can then uh, change the colors inside the settings, of course. I will uh, select the inside theme uh, location. And I will, for example, display it here or better put it there. Okay, so I have now my main product and my two accessories or my two atoms. Of course, you probably won't put the main product as the same as the upsold product here, but for the matter of this test. So the people will be able to tick. And like I said, uh, you can change the colors of the cart button uh, in the global settings. I'll show you in, a, in another video. So by default, well, it's not that great because it takes the CSS from the theme. Uh, but uh, you can see when you're satisfied with it, uh, you can also uh, change the image size. And in this case, I don't have much space, so I will let it to compact. I can also use a carousel feature. For example, I could show the products in one column and I have a carousel like this. And when I'm satisfied, I click on save. And I go back to editing. I could save change or publish it right away. But I'm pretty much done with my setup to display the product add-ons on the product page.